So we decided to do something special for this episode. We asked you guys to ask me a question to do with mental, physical or emotional health. So today it's Ask LJ. So we, we got a few questions, there's some, a couple of bangers. We'll, we'll start with this one, which I think is a really important question. A lot of people will relate to it. I'm a lifelong nail biter. How do I stop or should I just not worry about it? The first thing I noticed in this question is that you said I'm a lifelong nail biter. So to me that says you're committed to it. You want to do this for life. You I almost identify with being a nail biter. Instead of saying, I'm a lifelong nail biter, you can say, I bite my nails. And <laughs> it makes it a less identified concept. There's good side to biting your nails. Um, some people say it kind of builds your immunity because I've, I've read that it's actually the same as eating a cockroach on a hygienic scale. But the good side to that is exposing yourself to little bits of germs all the time. Maybe have you had a cold recently? I don't know. Next question. How do you know if you're sane or insane and just a really good actor? This question is surprisingly simple. The terminology of sane and insane is completely subjective. The only thing you can know is, you know, do all my friends hate me? Do my parents hate me? We don't really know if we're sane or insane, but we do know if it's working for us. So if being insane is working for us, you may as well keep going. Don't overthink it too much. And the very last question. It seems that everywhere I turn, there's a new self-help guide or a diet or an exercise or a guru that promises to change my life if I follow a certain few steps. Do you pay attention to this stuff? And if so, how do you wade through the mire to find what works for you? I, I pay attention to it like I would pay attention to a clown at a circus. Like, oh, that's cool. That's pretty funny bit weird, bit scary, whatever. But I don't pay attention to it like, this is gonna save me, this is gonna change my life, because it, it won't. I would say the first thing you need to do is question why you feel like you need to change. The second thing I would do is if you have something you do truly wanna change, give yourself a really long timeline. You know, a lot of these books trade on desperation, so they're like, change your life in two days, get organized in 24 hours. It just, it's really misleading. If you want to change something like maybe you want to get more organized, give yourself a 10 to 20 year timeline. Don't be so overachieving. Just make your life as easy as you can for who you are right now. So that is my answer to that question. And thank you everyone for writing in.